Welcome to the Witten Library community space. Transformed in normal times by local people into a cinema, a theatre, a comedy or poetry club, and a place in which to share knowledge and interests, such as the history of our town. So until things get back to normal, why not join us for a taste of things to come? Local podcast of The Squire is free of all copyright restrictions and therefore ideally suited to the making of this tribute. Hello, I am the Squire of The Squire Presents and today I'm going to be talking to you about Ennio Morricone. Morricone, who died on the 6th of July 2020, might not be a name familiar to many, but even if you've not heard the name, you'll have heard the man's work. This is including his collaborating with musicians such as Paul Anker, The Pet Shop Boys and Celine Dion. He also appeared in bands of his own, performing albums of avant-garde improvisational music. He also produced music for stage productions, radio programmes and advertising campaigns for the likes of Nissan, Sky Cinema as well as Dolce & Gabbana. He has even composed music for television, including the theme to the 1978 World Cup, but arguably his most famous piece being Chai Mei, which was used for the BBC Wales series The Life and Times of David Lloyd George. This tune was a surprise hit in the UK, reaching number two on the singles chart. Just as a little side fact fans, this was not the first time this tune had been used. Elements of the piece were used as far back as 1968 in the film The Great Silence, and it is with his film score work that he is most well known. His scores have included The Mission, Once Upon a Time in America, and The Untouchables, just from the 80s. He has also worked with directors such as John Carpenter, Brian De Palma, Oliver Stone and Quentin Tarantino, where he won an Oscar for his work on the film The Hateful Eight. His most iconic work would be the soundtracks he produced for the spaghetti westerns of Sergio Leone. These included The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, the theme of which would be recorded by Hugo Montenegro and would be a number one hit single in the UK as well as a number two on the Billboard charts in the USA. A complete list of films you've been involved with has been scrolling up the screen to my left hand side whilst I've been talking. Arguably his most famous work was the score for The Good, The Bad and The Ugly. This soundtrack was unusual because normally a film score is composed after the film has been shot. However, director Leone had Morricone write the score beforehand so music could inspire the shooting of the film. This is most evident in the standoff at the end of the film. Leone took a scene that required three men to stare at each other for a couple of minutes and turned it into a classic of cinema. Watch the scene near the end of the film for yourself and you will clearly see how the editing and the music built to a crescendo just before the final standoff. Morricone produced scores for over 400 films and television shows and his work, even though can be enjoyed still, the man himself will be greatly missed.